This is Sarah, and this is her mother, Betty. When Sarah was three months old, Betty noticed Sarah's head tilting to the left. An orthopedic surgeon examined Sarah's neck and found nothing wrong. When Sarah was 11 months old, she had occasional morning vomiting. Her pediatrician examined her, ran a few tests, and found nothing. When Sarah was one year old, her eyes looked cross-eyed and she was unable to focus. The ophthalmologist recommended glasses. At this point, Betty insisted on Sarah having a CT, or MRI. Her insistence helped diagnose a tumor inside Sarah's brain and saved her life. An earlier diagnosis by any of the medical personnel could have prevented some of Sarah's physical deterioration and worsening symptoms. Pediatric brain tumors, PBTs, are the most common solid tumors and a leading cause of cancer-related morbidity and mortality in childhood. My name is Professor Shlomi Constantini. I am the Director of Pediatric Neurosurgery at Dana Children's Hospital, Tel Aviv Medical Center. We have decided to create this video in order to reduce the significant delay between the first symptoms and eventual diagnosis of a brain tumor in children. Such a delay may lead to acute situations and irreversible neurological damage. However, the clinical burden on pediatric primary care providers is enormous. They have to screen large numbers of children when in fact the incidence of PBTs is very low. This film highlights the major indicators of PBT, helping parents and primary care physicians with a diagnosis. There are six main indicators of pediatric brain tumors that should raise concern. Headaches and vomiting are classic presentations of tumors in the small brain. They should raise concern if they appear together, recur and occur around awakening in the morning, especially if accompanied by the following symptoms, disorientation or confusion, abnormal coordination, change of motor skills, or abnormal eye movements. And yet, in case of gastroenteritis, headaches and vomiting should raise less concern. Epileptic attacks or seizures which are non-febrile and focal, as well as new convulsions, are particularly worrisome. Abnormal growth, arrested puberty, change in metabolism, or increased drinking and urine output. Any vision changes that are newly onset and cannot be corrected by glasses, such as a decline in visual acuity, double vision, and changes in the visual field. Changes in scholastic performance noticed by parents, educators, or mental health professionals. A head tilt or any abnormal head position could also be a neurological symptom. Keep in mind that symptoms may come and go, but a general trend towards symptom progression over time or an increase in the number of signs noticed is reason to seek medical care and a referral for imaging. If symptoms persist or worsen, do not hesitate to get a second opinion or go straight to the emergency room. If a child is having seizures, a persistent combination of headache and vomiting, experiencing reduced alertness, or displaying changes in vision or speech, go immediately to an emergency facility. Let us all work together, increasing awareness of PBT symptoms. By doing so, we can prevent irreversible damage and shorten the time of suffering for many children with brain tumors across the globe.